Five million lives lost in a war just a few short years ago. You're going to be surprised where it is. Judy Anderson of Heal Africa tonight on Public Exposure. I'm Stan Emmert, and I, and I want, got to give you a warning. We're going to be dealing with some very tough subject matter tonight. So just be ready to mute it if there are, are children around or if there are people around who can't handle the difficult subjects that we're going to deal with. But first, the Around the Americas project that we've been following for over a year now, the Ocean Watch vessel that started here on May the 31st, 2009 is almost back. Right now, let's go to the click because where we see is they are in Portland right now as we speak. They will be back here next week and we will have them back on public exposure soon after that. HealAfrica.org. Heal Africa, Judy Anderson, welcome to the show. Thanks, nice to be here. You don't look African, but you are. Well, depends on where I am and what, I'm, to what language I talk. So when I get na pesimbote, it would be different. That doesn't sound like football <laughs> language to me, so <laughs> what was that? Lingala. I grew up in Congo. You grew up in Congo? Mm -hmm. Okay, so what is Heal Africa? Heal Africa is an organization that started through a Congolese orthopedic surgeon and his wife who really wanted to improve the medical training for medical professionals. And as they had a little clinic that was, you know, bringing in people to show improved practices. In the they, Congo. In Congo, in Goma. Um, they realized that, wait a minute, we can address medical procedures in a hospital, but if we're going to talk about health and change the health situation of people in the surrounding areas, we've got to get out of the hospital. So it started programs in community to help uh, improve access to information that will improve health and okay. practice. All right, let's talk about the Congo just a little bit. The Democratic Re Republic of Congo, land area about uh, the size of about one-fourth the United States, as well as the, uh, well, it's got a lot of minerals, and we'll, this is very important. We'll get back to this later on in the show. The population, roughly 71 million, which is, one again, about one-fourth the size of the United States. The life expectancy, only 55. Big reason to be talking about health. Uh, per capita income, $300. So, you know, we're li living at, in abject poverty. And then finally, this interesting statement, again from the CIA Factbook, members of Uganda's Lord's Resistance Army Forces continue to seek refuge in the Congo's Garamba National Park. Important uh, point, we will be getting to that later in the show, too. Okay, let's go specifically to what you do. Uh, Heal Africa, based in Goma, the Democratic Republic of Congo, a region where war has claimed over 5 million lives since 1998, Heal Africa's medical, social, and economic initiatives foster peace and development. 5 million lives? Mm -hmm. It's almost unbelievable, isn't it? Well, yeah, I actually did a little bit of research on it. I thought, you know, that's, that's an unbelievable amount of, amount of people. So let's go to the next slide because in the last 400 years, mm. only World War I, World War II, the Taiping and Muslim rebellions in China, and the Russian Civil War have had more war deaths than the Second Congo War, basically not even a decade ago. Well, it's still going on. It has been for the last 15 years. There's been in the north, in the northeastern part of Congo, there is this ongoing conflict. Mm -hmm. Massive amounts of arms, massive amounts of armed soldiers from various groups and various places. Well. Typically, and I know this may not always be true, but typically mm -hmm. when there's a war, somebody wants something that somebody else has. Right. Who wants what over there? Ah. Do you have a cell phone? <laughs> yes, I do. Ah. Uh, do you know the battery life of a cell phone is really an important part in getting a new one, right? Because you want a longer battery? Yeah. Okay. Well, cell phones, the battery, the comp one, of the, one of the components that keeps a battery working longer comes from Congo. Really? There's a bit of Congo in almost everybody's cell phone or in your computer battery life. Mm -hmm. um, so that's one of the reasons. But what I don't understand, though, and I really have to understand this uh, more, is the incredible amount of violence. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it's certainly a war. There's, there's, there's violence uh, certainly in war, but not this kind. Let's go to the next slide, because as one of the most prominent actors against sexual violence, Heal Africa performs over 300 fistula repair surgeries a year. Mm -hmm. That's one a day. Yeah, or more. And has done over 1,400 successful reparations since 2004. 
Heal Africa also provides economic support for survivors of sexual violence and is taking legal action on behalf of the, of the victims. There's an awful lot said in there. Why is it that you're having to do that? I mean, the 300 fistula repairs, tell me about that. Well, in order to control land, it's really easier to mine if there's, there's no population. Um, the armed groups that are there controlling land and doing mining um, also don't have uh, easy access to food and, you know, consumer goods. So the easiest way is to loot a village, mm -hmm. um, kill the men, rape the women, take the women and children that can be useful either as sex slaves or as slaves to carry minerals or mine or whatever, and then um, really to, to destroy the fabric of community in those villages so that people will leave. You know, 1.8 million people were displaced in this last year, the last three years. Uh, 1.8 million people. Displaced. That's half the size of Washington State almost. There you go. Can you imagine every other person in Washington State having to just run out of your house, um, not take anything? Sometimes kids get lost, people get lost. Um, they leave with what they have in their backs or what they can carry and just scramble for safety. And, and when they come home, whenever that is, it may be a six months, three months, five months, ten months, or a year and a half, later they come home and there's nothing left. Their house is burned, everything of value has been taken, their fields have been taken, their seeds stored, gone, and they have to start all over again. And they have done this time after time after time in the last 15 years. Well, one of the things that uh, you, you said that you're doing at Heal Africa is you're, you're helping to take legal action on behalf of the victims. You know, forgive me, but how do you take legal action against a gang? Well, you can't. You have to take legal action against an individual. And the reason, I mean, when we first started talking about this, there were some Congolese lawyers who came to our hospital and started asking women that were there as patients, did they know their rights? And not one woman could name one right that she had, including to say no. Hmm. So, so it why, why really, it's, it's, not, it's not just helping women that decide that they're going to take this one step further. It's scary to, um, to go up against the perpetrators. Well, yeah, if People, they've got guns and there's lots of them. Exactly. So who's helping? Well, the ABA, we're in... That's American Bar Association. American you Bar know, Association. No offense, but, you know, the American Bar Association is not going to go over there with a bunch of law books and go hitting people with guns. <laughs> it's not going to work. They're paying some Congolese uh, attorneys to... To go hit them with books? No. No, no. What we have developed is, you know, in 2006, there was a new constitution written, which for the first time gives some, um, some rights to women protections. It defines abuse as non-consensual sex of a woman of any age. It's also now not legal to marry a child to an older man. Um, it, it is, people don't know that there have been changes in the law, and so we're trying to help people be aware of these changes and start discussing them. We're going to go over some specific stories here in just a moment, but first we're going to take a break. Uh, we're very fortunate to have Judy Anderson, who's the executive director of Heal Africa, which is a uh, an, the U.S. operations is headquartered right here in the Pacific Northwest. Go to the website HealAfrica.org. You're going to learn an awful lot more. And something else that you can do if you want to learn, go to a play at the Intamon. It's uh, from July 2nd through August the 8th. Uh, the name of the play is Ruined. Uh, you're going to want to learn a lot more now. Mind you, it's, it's a tough subject, but you're going to learn an awful lot, and the reviews are excellent about this. Finally, if you want to watch this show again, go to YouTube, Public Exposure Scan. We, we're going to have this up uh, a little later tonight, as a matter of fact.